Hey everyone, <clears throat> Vintage Fan Collector here. Today we have a little special video and uh, probably one of the last continuous videos of this fan. Um, my camera apparently films in 60 frames per second, something I was unaware of until I stumbled across the setting, messing around looking for something else. So I thought that I would re um, record a 60 frames per second 1080p video of the 1985 Casablanca Zephyr before I finally just quit filming it every time, I don't know, this is like the fourth video of it on my channel, maybe the fifth. Um, but before that, there's also an update that is kind of, I guess, cool. Oi, what's that? Whoa! Ooh, a spiral jam rod. Well, I'll be darned. Yeah, I decided to, you know, uh, put one on when I replaced, I didn't replace it, when I tightened up the flywheel on this thing, I had to take it down anyway, so, bam. Anyway, we'll go ahead and do demo mode. Um, of course, like I always do. Only problem with the 60 frames per second bee's niece is that it only works or it only functions well when there's quite a lot of light on the fan, however it seems to be doing its job actually, so that's fine. This will be an enhancement for all future videos that I will be using. Yeah, this is pretty much that. This is definitely 60 frames per second. It looks very nice. Very clean. But uh, it doesn't work in low light settings, so which is okay because 30 frames per second is still alright yeah there's definitely this room is pretty good for natural light as there's a large screen door that I can open up the curtains to give me some video lighting as well as the various lamps I happen to have around here The only issue is now I will definitely have to find sufficient video lighting for test mount videos. Which is no problem, being who I am with the lighting collection I currently possess. Now, general settings, starting with the light. And speed one. Now the question is, is this enough light for the fr 60 frames per second to work? Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay. Can't really judge on this lower speed because uh, 30 frames per second picks the blade movement up pretty well with speeds 1, 2, and I think maybe a little bit on 3. So if it does, if it does not um, want to turn on, I'll just turn on the light kit and dim it down a little bit. I'm going to go through the general settings a little quicker than normal, um, just because my camera is going to die. Is. So speed two. This will be a shorter video, for sure. <laughs> I know that the battery, the low battery thing just started, so I have time for a video, but I'm going to go by quicker. Okay, speed three. I right, need to look now. Let me check on it. Yep, 60 frames per second is working. I'm going to do a test though, just to make sure. Uh, it appears to be without the light kit, I think. Speed 4. Now oh, this is the real test here. So, yep, it is. Well, yeah, it is, I can tell. Mm-hmm. But just in case. <laughs> The real way I can tell is on high speed, that's the easiest way. Sorry. Yeah, it looks exactly the same. Okay, I'm done. 
I'm done checking. All right. Problem is this cam, this is a digital camera, so I can't see the screen until I go behind it. B5. That's the only issue. I need to see what we're doing on time. Pretty good. Oh yeah. Two minutes. Yeah, this is way quicker than my <laughs> normal, for sure. Yeah, this is definitely working good. That's nice to know. And then, high speed. Number six, for those who like to count. And this is one of the more powerful K55 motors on my Casablanca fans. Moves quite a bit of air. Oh, no. Is that not working? Huh. Hold up. Better have been working. Maybe it has level... There you go with the light kit, I guess. It was working a little bit, but it looks definitely better here. As you can see, this is miles better than what was before, but 30 frames per second is not terrible. I just, most of the big collectors and YouTubers use 60, and now I'm glad to finally be able to do the same. There goes the AC. So yeah, um, the flywheel was loose previously, and as people probably noticed, the blades did uh, move, the flywheel rocked each time the uh, speeds were changed and the lower speeds and it was turned on. Now it does not do that. It also does not have a uh, reverse torque that's like kind of alarming the way it used to be and it also does not have torque on any of the speeds and it doesn't sway as nearly as much because of the down rod so those are all good things the only problem with the AC being on is that they're pointed at the blades to make this circulate the AC so the spin down is going to be longer than normal therefore I am going to actually stop it and slow it down and then I know some people really like the spin down but press for time y'all so Anyway, that concludes today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed. More remakes will come from all the other fans in my house as well as uh, test mount stuff, but I will have to find time for that. I just had a little window right now as I am sick. I'm, I'm getting better, but yeah. So I hope y'all enjoyed and just look out for more 60 frames per second remakes coming soon. Thank y'all for watching.